The 1% rule, what is it? It's a uh, commonly used term in the real estate industry, and it's uh, it's just a rule of thumb, guys. It's not something that you should solely base your decision off of, you know, when you're out here looking to buy a rental property. But it's a it's a good way to filter through a bunch of deals um, to let you know, hey, how good is this property at producing income? So let's say, you know, you told a realtor, he or she, that I'm looking to buy an investment property and, you know, they're sending you deals or, uh, you know, you know, a whole bunch of wholesalers in your local market and they're sending you deals. Or you may even be, you know, uh, in a lot of your local um, real estate groups, you know, through Facebook and you're just seeing deal after deal after deal after deal. And all you want to know is, hey, how can I quickly tell that, you know, this is a pretty good deal and I should dive in deeper and uh, lets me know that it produces is cash flow. So let's dive into the iPad. You know, the 1% rule means that your uh, minimum grossly month rent should be 1% of the total purchase price of the property. So what that means is uh, that it also includes repairs. So let's say we bought a property for $60,000 and uh, we put $40,000 into it. You know, our all in number is 100000 and let's say your realtor sends you a deal, it's listed for 100,000 and the property's renting for $1,000 already. How do we know, you know, what 1% of 100,000 is? Well, we just multiply that by 0 0.01 or uh, we can do this much easier. Um, it's super simple to find, you know, 1% of anything. You know, we're all in at 100,000. The property's rent for a thousand dollars a month, and you can do this, you know, on a piece of paper, napkin. It's it's super easy. You just go over two decimal places, you know, chop that off, and there you go. You have your one percent of a hundred thousand, which is a thousand dollars a month that this property should be producing to let you, you know, quickly know, hey, is it worth uh, me diving in deeper, and uh, is cash flow potentially there? So this property would meet the one percent rule, and it would let you know that it most likely is going to cash flow very well um, after you, you know, you pay your principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Let's look at another property. Let's say you're buying a uh, duplex and it's renting for $2,000 a month and your realtor sends you this and it is listed at $180,000. Well, to find 1% of 180000 we go two decimal places over, you know, you chop that off and the minimum, you know, grossly month month uh, rent should be 1800 bucks a month. So does this meet the 1% rule? Absolutely. It actually exceeds the 1% rule. You know, this would be a property that, you know, you should dive in deeper um, and spend your time on. But what does a property look like uh, that quickly would tell you, you know, using the 1% rule, hey, this doesn't fit. Uh, it's possibly not going to cash flow very well. And I shouldn't, you know, spend my time on you know, let's say the property is once again a duplex and it is um, rented for a thousand dollars a side, you know, so your total grossly month rent is two thousand dollars a month. But your realtor sends you this or wholesaler, whatever, um, and it's listed at three hundred thousand. Well, if we go two places over minimum that uh, this property should be rented out for is three thousand dollars a month, but it's at two thousand dollars a month. Well, this does not meet the one percent rule, you know, and this possibly is not a deal. You know, if you were very interested in this property and you're somebody that knows your area very well, um, you, you you'll know right off the bat, you know, when you do use the one percent rule, uh, you'll know, hey, can I add value to this property? You know, so maybe you can make it work. But if you're brand new, stick to the one percent rule and just filter through properties and get better at that. Um, as you're into the investing world and your market uh, a lot longer, you're gonna know um, what I'm actually gonna talk about now. So let's say we have that $300,000 property and right now it is only producing $2,000 a month income. But what if that property, I mean, it's completely turnkey. It's beautiful. It's a side-by-side -side duplex, brick, uh, vinyl windows. It doesn't have to be those exact specs. But uh, what I'm relaying is it just, it doesn't need any additional capital for you to, you know, have to change these numbers. So $300,000 all in. And you know that this current landlord is actually, um, renting this out for under market. What if, you know, the rent is actually 1500 bucks a month. That would actually bring this property to $3,000 a month. That would meet that $3,000 a month. So yeah, maybe initially you may not cash flow, but if the tenants are on a month to month, you know, you may be able to bump the rents right away and you just found opportunity in a property that maybe somebody else um, may not have looked at or overlooked because they're just looking at 1% and 
uh, didn't know it. So as you gain experience, uh, this is just one tool to help you analyze a property quickly, but it's not the end all be all. Uh, let me know, you know, what works in your market. I'm actually here in Ohio. The 1% rule does work. So drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And then uh, I'll keep pushing this content forward to help you.